Hello, my beautiful Capricorns. Thank you so much for joining me. This is B, and welcome to Psychic Sounds by B. This reading is for Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and Capricorn Rising. If you have Capricorn in your, or if you have Venus or Mars in Capricorn in your natal chart, you may want to listen to this reading as well as it relates to your love life. Just a few updates, guys. I'm not going to be per doing personal readings for purchase until June 1st. The reason is I have a lot of developments going on in my life. I have a lot of developments with my family, my work life, my personal life. And I want to make sure that I give you the best of me and the best of what I have to offer. And in order to do that, I've got to make sure that I get things um, squared away uh, so that uh, my family and uh, my work life is in uh, alignment or balance with what I am doing as far as a service offering to all of you out there. Um, please join me on Gumroad for the extended reading. Um, this is a reading for purchase. This gives you more information on the general readings that I um, provide here. Uh, thank you so much for your likes, your shares, your subscribes. I certainly do appreciate it. And for those of you that would like to support my channel, you can support me through the support link below. And um, these videos should be posted by uh, the night of the 28th. So I am recording this right now on the 28th. I did have some difficulties with uh, some of my videos. So let's go ahead and let's get started, guys. All right, let's start with your astrological alignments. The sun is in your fourth house, Capricorn. There is illumination as it relates to your home life, who you are at a core level. Put your best foot forward in this particular area of your life. You do not want to be putting out any negative energy. You want to be very supportive, but you also want to make sure that your needs are met. So please just be aware that this is where the illumination is going to be. Your focus is going to be on here on this particular area of your life, and other people's focus is going to be on this particular area of your life as well. Mercury is going retrograde on the 10th of April, and for you right now, it is going direct in your fourth house of home and family. So there are communications about your home. There are communications about your family. There are communications about who you are at a core level. And then it moves into your um, fifth house of romance, children, creativity, risk-taking, gambling, pets. So in this particular area, there might be communications as it relates to these areas of your life as well. Then on the 10th, when Mercury starts going retrograde, there is a reassessment with your um, your romance, children, creativity, risk-taking, gambling, pets, and home life. So there's a reassessment here. There is, there is an opportunity for you to take a step back and say, okay, maybe I wanted a roommate, now I don't. Or you could be saying, maybe I didn't want a roommate, now I do. Or you could be going to somebody and saying, maybe we should live with one another. Maybe if you're dating somebody, you're saying, look, I've thought about this and I'm thinking, you know, I'm spending $1,500 over here in, in a mortgage and you're spending $1,700 in mortgage over here. How about we just move in together and we can share that expense? So that could be a, a topic of conversation and giving you an opportunity to be able to see what is out there. Now, granted, you don't want to make any commitments at this time because Mercury is going retrograde. You don't want to make any commitments and you want to make sure that your communication is clear in everything that you're doing. Um, you want to make sure that you watch your electronic communication, especially with these particular areas of your life so that there's no confusion. Um, there might be delayed communication as well. So you might be um, sending a text to somebody and, and they normally respond to you in 10 minutes or, or two minutes, but now it's taking them two hours or it's taking them five hours to respond to you. Don't take it the wrong way. This could also be happening with you. Just be clear and just be aware that you need to do a better job with communication, clear communication. Keep it simple, all right? And make sure that the communication is clear in all these areas of your life and you are going to be just fine. We do have Venus currently going retrograde and she's going to retrograde back into Pisces um, on the 4th of April. So for you, she's retrograding in your fourth house. You are reassessing the comfort level, the, the, the love, the kindness, the abundance, the small financial gain as it relates to your home life. For some of you, this might be a physical home. So you're, you're reassessing the value. You're getting an appraisal on your home. You're getting an appraisal on a new home. You are considering how can I make this home a happier, more loving and um, compassionate place to live. You know, this might be a second home as well. So you're updating the second home because you want to ask somebody to come and live with you in your second home or, or whatever it is. Say, for example, if, you know, for a vacation home, say you're dating somebody 
and you want to make sure that all of those appropriate areas or all those appropriate things are in place so that when this person comes to visit you or when they live with you four months out of the year or whatever Capricorn that you have those particular amenities available so that they have comfort and you have comfort so that could be what's going on for some of you out there and then it retrogrades back into your third house of communication contracts siblings short distance travel contracts negotiations uh, social media so there is a lot of um, reassessment as it relates to these areas of your life where you have value where you have small financial gain where you have a romantic or a significantly intimate bond so in this case you are reassessing maybe how you communicate with somebody with your intimacy or your love or your kindness or your small financial gain or how you want certain things to be handled with your finances and then she goes direct in this particular area of your life and then she goes back direct in the fifth uh, the fifth house for you so then once you've done all of this reassessment and you have you've put things out on the table to be reconsidered or to be considered even for the first time but you're researching it at this time then after uh, Venus starts going direct I believe it's on the 15th of April I believe then you have this ability to communicate yourself in a loving and compassionate kind way to bring more finances into your life to bring more support into your life and to bring more love into your life so this is really really beautiful and remember that's in the fourth house and once it goes in the fifth house that's romance children and creativity so there's gonna be a lot of romance you know children and creativity in your life um, once uh, Venus starts going direct um, oh I'm sorry not your fifth house your fourth house my bad it's, it's going to be going on in your fourth house of home and family so you're gonna have a lot of that beautiful and loving communication with your siblings your 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 people that you live with uh, your family those types of situations you're gonna be bringing love into your home and like I said you might be bringing somebody into your home to live with you or they might be bringing you into their home to live with them Mars is in your fifth house so there's aggression and passion in this particular area of your life so a lot of you Capricorns might be getting really passionate with a Taurian person it could be a Taurus Sun Taurus Moon Taurus rising um, a Venus or a Mars in Taurus as well um, this is a really good match for you and with this you could have aggression towards a Taurian person or you could have passion move it more towards the passionate side for some of you Taurians are for some of you Capricorns out there you might have a Taurian male that is either being really aggressive towards you or really passionate towards you so please just be aware of that energy on April 7th we do have Saturn going retrograde and for you this is in your 12th house thank goodness your 12th house is all about the hidden clandestine affairs uh, unconscious subconscious healing hospitals research um, sleep time Piscean energies because Pisces rules the 12th house so in this particular case Capricorn there could be significant relief with uh, a Piscean person or a clandestine affair for some of you Capricorns you don't want to be in a clandestine affair anymore you want to show this person off and to show this person off once Saturn starts going retrograde you're gonna see that you know what if I were to take them out on a date if anybody were to see us out who cares I mean what am I waiting for what you know for for them to say that you know I don't mean you know or they don't mean anything to me and for me to lose another partner or another person that I really get along with because you know I can't be seen out in public with them for whatever reason there were some restrictions with your life for whatever reason where you couldn't you couldn't open up or you couldn't illuminate a situation in your life that is actually making you very happy now with Saturn going retrograde that restriction has been lifted and now you can embark on exposing whatever it is you want to expose about your 12th house so that you are happy and more fulfilled moving forward and you can make decisions as well and reassess things as well Pluto is going retrograde on April 21st and for you this is in your first house when Pluto starts going retrograde in your first house you are the harbinger of change not things coming at you you are you are creating the change you feel a need for change when Pluto goes um, retrograde it brings the change and and the eruptions on an internal basis that go out you know from you not towards you because when Pluto is going direct changes come at you unexpected changes come at you um, 
you know, big, big disruptions and change comes at you. Now you're the one creating this change. You're the one in control of this change. So you have an opportunity to assess areas in your life and now you can decide what type of change do I want to create in my life? And then you will do so. We do have a new moon on April 26, and for you this is in your fifth house because it is in Taurus. Set your intentions for what you want in this area of your life, not for what you don't want. And this is in relation to your romance, children, creativity, uh, risk-taking, gambling, as well as pets. Then we do have a full moon on the 11th of April in your 10th house in Libra. So this full moon is bringing something to culmination, climax, or end as it relates to your status or your career. So when this happens, there could be um, an ending as it relates to status. So you might be married, now you're divorced. You might be divorced, now you're married. You might be single, now you're exclusive. So there could be something culminating at this present time that is significantly going to affect, especially within probably about um, up to six to 10 days before and six to 10 days after the new moon or the full moon, you could see that culmination ending or that climax in that particular area of your life. So how beautiful, Capricorn. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get started on your um, tarot reading. So what are the general energies for Capricorn for April of 2017? There's your general energies. What do we have going on for your, there's your work life and financial life. What do we have going on for your emotional life and love life, Capricorn? Emotional life and love life. Sorry, I dropped a whole bunch of them. Emotional life and love life for Capricorn. Emotional life and love life. Emotional life and love life. There's your emotional life and love life. What do we have going on for your uh, health and well-being? There's your health and well-being. All right, Capricorn, what do we got going on for your Archangel Guidance? There's your Archangel Guidance. That came out pretty quickly. All right, guys, what do we got going on for your general energies for April of 2017? The uh, general energies for April of 2017, Capricorn, are uh, ones of uh, separation, divorce, um, needing to take time to think about things. Communication may not be the best for whatever reason in April. You may get communication as it relates to something that um, hurts your heart or causes some sort of disappointment. This could be for some Capricorns out there, this could be somebody that you were dating in the past that you really had a strong loving relationship with and now they're seeing somebody else. This could be for some Capricorns out there that there may be some health issues in your life at the present time and it might be having something to do with uh, heart issues as well. Um, this could also be like a pulmonary hypertension of some sort. You might be dealing with that type of energy as well. For others of you Capricorns out there, um, you are going through a phase of needing to feel the contrast between happiness and sadness so that you can determine what it is that you need moving forward in order to create a stable and loving bond in your life. So Capricorns, this could be happening, but in general, if you're in a happy and loving bond, this simply means that you are separated from somebody. It could be because um, you're hearing communication about them. They could be hearing communication about you. Um, it could also be because of... Um, some sort of work uh, situation that is keeping you separated. It's like you can't spend as much time with you uh, with each other as you want. So that could be what's going on. So please just be aware of that, Capricorn. So what do we have going on for your work life and financial life? For your work life and financial life, Capricorn, you do have the seven of wands. Capricorns, you're trying to maintain your position. So when we have the Three of Swords and the Seven of Wands trying to maintain your position, there could be something going on right now where you're trying to create something in your life. You're trying to keep distractions at bay. For some of you Capricorns out there, you might be dating somebody and you really do love them, but they're a distraction right now for you. So please just make sure that you let that person know that you're really busy with work. You want to set a date to see one another but you can't right now because you've got so much stuff going on. Uh, for others of you Capricorns out there, this could be where this other person, whether it be a girl or a guy, or even a friend for that matter, has got so many things coming in and they're distracted and they can't spend as much time with you as they would like and this makes you sad. But don't worry, you guys can work it out. It's identifying what those distractions are, what those obligations are, and working around it in the schedule. Uh, as it relates to work life and financial life, you're trying to keep your head above water. So as it relates to that, um, you could be helping somebody out of a jam. For some of you Capricorns out there, you could be loaning them money. 
Um, for others of you, this is actually happening to you. You might have people loaning you money. You might have, you might need help. You might need to say, okay, I've got to get rid of these excess things in my life so that I can, you know, make sure that I have a stable future moving forward. But as it relates to work life, there could be people coming to you and they're just giving you complaint after complaint after complaint and you're really just kind of sick of it. You just want somebody to bring a solution because it's causing you sleepless nights, it's causing you to get stressed, and this could be affecting your health. So just be aware of that, Capricorn. And this could be even just, you know, going on with school. You know, I mean, like, for example, um, I have a lot of stuff going on in my personal life right now, and I've got to balance these things, and it is not easy at all. So you have to decide which ones can wait and which ones need to be addressed. And that is what is most important at the present time. So uh, what do we have going on for your emotional life and love life? For emotional life and love life, Capricorn, you do have the Five of Cups. There could have been something, Capricorn, that you said that um, is causing great regret with you at the present time. And um, it could also be where you said something when you were drinking some wine or something like that. I mean, you do have Mercury going retrograde in your third house of communication. And this could be with siblings, this could be with a lover, this could be with a partner, this could be with a spouse. There is a potential argument that has manifested over finances for whatever reason. And you're trying to figure out a way to let this person know. Um, I am simply, uh, th this could also be that person feeling that towards you. And you may have had, for some of you Capricorns out there, you may have had to let somebody go so you could get involved with somebody else. So that could be what's happening and you're still kind of recovering from that old relationship at that present time or at the, at the present time. For some of you Capricorns, you might be reaching out to somebody that you used to date or they might be reaching out to you and you have to tell them, I'm seeing somebody or they have to tell you, I'm seeing somebody now. And that could cause a little bit of disruption in your emotional state, all right? For others of you, as it relates to your emotional life and love life, um, you could have family members, you could be at a party, there could be a lot of distractions, whatever, there could be a lot of um, stuff going on, and you find out that a family member, or you find, or you yourself, you know, you spill wine on a very expensive rug, or you spill wine on a carpet, or something like that, or somebody spills something at your home, or you spill something at somebody else's home, and you feel really bad about it, and, you know, it's something really expensive, so now it's like you have to look at your budget and say, okay, I've got to replace this, you know, $2,000 rug because of my mistake or my um, my um, clumsiness, okay? Or somebody else could be saying that to you. So this could be what's going on for some of you Capricorns out there. There could be something um, that was, like I said, that was said between you and somebody else that you're looking back on it and you're like, you know, I need to overcome this or I just need to let this go. So this could definitely be what's happening at the present time for some of you Capricorns out there. And um, you may have put a lot of work in, into this particular relationship or this particular endeavor, and you just feel like there's nothing to show for it, but really there is, all right? There really is. You've got those two cups left standing, see? And um, if you just turn around and see that they're still there, that the friendship is still there, that is definitely something to look at and to consider uh, moving forward and to build something again uh, with that particular person or with a new person for that matter. So what do we have uh, going on as it relates to your uh, health and well-being? For your health and well-being, you do have the Wheel of Fortune. So these particular events, uh, this Three of Swords, this Seven of Wands, and this Five of Cups is happening in a faded way. So either you had an opportunity to take up someone on, um, on a, a deal or a commitment or a, a, a partnership and you didn't do it. And now you're looking back on it and you're regretful of it. For others of you out there, uh, they had an opportunity to take you up on a relationship and they didn't do it. And now they're expressing to you how much they miss you, how much they want to you know, spend time with you. And you're just like, you know what? I don't have time for this relationship. I'm sorry, okay? Or they could be, or you could be saying that to them. I'm sorry. I really want to work on this relationship. I want us to work out. I want us to do this. You know, I want us to make this work. And they're saying, I'm sorry. You know, I've, I'm not going to be in a situation where I get my heart broken again, or 
where I have to defend myself against your 18 million things you've got going on. I mean, I'll be happy to be a friend with you, but you have no time for me. You have no love for me. You have no, no indication that you want to be with me. All right. You, there's communication is just dead. It just stopped. And so like, what do you want me to do about this? You know, so that could be going on for some of you Capricorns out there. Remember, these energies go both ways. So this could just be something um, that is just simply meant to be. There could be some situations that are occurring right now, and it may not have anything to necessarily do with a relationship from a fact that you're going to you know, divorce somebody or separate from somebody. It could be some sort of misunderstanding as it relates to research regarding a particular project and the communication regarding that research regarding that particular project. So I just want to make sure that you guys are aware of that, that you need to make sure that your communication is extremely clear in April of 2017. So what do we have going on? And some of you might be traveling as well. And there could be some faded events that happen as it relates to your health as well. So if there's anything that comes up, please get it checked out right away. It's very important. Or somebody around you could be going through that type of energy as well. Um, you could have, for example, for those of you in a happy and loving bond, you could be in a situation where you have a significant other that says, I'm going to reduce my alcohol intake. I'm going to detox. I am going to do all of this and I'm going to research it and I'm going to make sure that this works and I'm going to keep myself away from any, any type of you know, um, addictions or any type of um, temptations with food or drink because I don't want to be in a situation where seven years down the road I've got heart problems because I didn't take care of myself now. So that could be going on for some of you Capricorns. So here is your Archangel Guidance, Crystal Clear Intentions. Archangel Michael, be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith. Again, Capricorns, this is exactly what's happening here. What do you want? Do you want a loving, re loving relationship? Then why are you holding on to a relationship that doesn't serve you? Do you want um, uh, a loving friendship? Then why are you not communicating with this person? Or why are you keeping yourself at arm's length from this person? Remember, this goes, this goes both ways. This could be somebody doing this to you. But make sure that any communications, and this is reinforced what I was picking up with the general reading, make sure your communications are clear. Make sure that people understand where you stand. Make sure if you say something, you mean it. Uh, make sure that you don't backpedal. And in order to not backpedal, you've really got to think about what it is you're going to say in relationships, at work, in your spiritual life, and even what you say to yourself. All right, Capricorns, there could be something going on with some Capricorns out there where you're beating yourself up about something and you just simply need to change that mindset and create the energy around you and say to yourself, I did the best I could with the information I had and you know what, I'm just going to have to do my best to create positive energy around me and the universe will follow. All right, whether something new comes into my life or something gets reignited, it really doesn't matter. What I need to do is ensure that I treat others with respect, that I don't hold back information if, if, if they ask for the information, that I do not lead somebody on, that I am clear in what it is that I am saying to this individual or the, these groups of people so that I don't have to face this level of communicative um, dysfunction or separation in the future. All right, Capricorns, I hope you like this reading. I hope it helped you out in some way. I wish you much light, much love, and many blessings. And please join me on Gumroad for your extended reading to see if there are any turnarounds or if there are any additional messages for you as it relates to this general reading. Take care of yourselves. Namaste.